Hi guys, so I wanted to show you guys today what we do in homeschool and what supplies we use. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit into detail more on how I teach my daughter. Um, she's in kindergarten. Um, I would make another video of how I teach my son, but my son is a little bit more of like, it's a little bit more simple, but harder. I don't know how to explain. So he does harder stuff, but to teach him it's a little bit more simple because we do multiplication division stuff like that which we use um the good and the beautiful as well we use an app so it's a little bit more you know simple to teach um but i'm gonna be showing you what we use in school and how i teach my daughter Okay, so I wanted to show you where we keep our homeschool supplies and our homeschool stuff. So basically, this is like a little island in between the kitchen and the living room. Um, eventually, our plan is to demolish this whole entire wall um, to do an open concept you know with the living room and the kitchen and so the reason why I have this stuff here and I am thinking of putting like a curtain or something because um, we do homeschool in the in the kitchen this is why my table is so disgusting because the kids paint and stuff here and we don't have a formal dining area just yet so this is what we use almost all the time and then so all this stuff used to be in my daughter's closet let me show you i mean not closet but uh, my daughter's room she has these um cabinets in here um but it was kind of a hassle to be coming in here and grabbing stuff i still kept some of the like other stuff that we don't quite use often which is like um art supplies like paints um we use it but not every day and then this is all like the clay stuff um puzzles um and then these are like oh these are like um stuff for my daughter like she's in pre kin she's in kinder so she uses most of this stuff this doesn't belong here but this is where i'm thinking of putting all the game boards because she they have a ton of game boards my my son has a ton of game boards so i might just place them up there um we have an extra shelf we have all these shelves but um my daughter has her shoes there and so it was kind of hard to just come and grab stuff from here because sometimes she has toys all over the place and yeah so that's where i keep some of the stuff but as for now this is where we use the majority of the stuff so let me show you so these three baskets up here are very hard to maintain because the kids do go through them but here i have like pencils and color pencils um here are these are for me these are mostly pens highlighters um and then this is like miscellaneous like basically um sharpies uh dry erase markers and then uh, my staplers scissors um erase erasers uh tape and stuff like that um so that's some of the stuff that i might use once in a while and then right next to it is um some of their workbooks that they use um these are my daughters and then this is my son's we use the good and the beautiful to do certain material not everything um i did get him these uh, musical multiplications which he doesn't really like <laughs> but i'll probably save it and use it for my daughter later on when she is older and so this right here we use it to hold any work sheets that they've done um and then we also have construction paper and then underneath we have a ton of little workbooks for my daughter where she uses to write these are new so if we're done with the one over here she can come grab a new one um and then underneath we have some library books which uh, we grab from the library, from the local library, because we go at least once every week or every two weeks to switch them out and they pick whatever books they want to read. Um, so we keep them here because we do read uh, once in a while um, during school. I read to them a book. 
and then right next to it is my son's bag and my daughter's um, uh, box which is filled with uh, whatever they're gonna use basically pencil um, eraser you know what they're gonna use in the daily and then right next to that we have their binders where they have most of their necessities and then I'll show you what we keep in their binders in just a bit um, this is just um, cards flash cards and then right next to that we have um, we have glues so a box filled with glue sticks and glue um and then on this box we have a box filled with crayons markers just extra you know um pencils and then i think on top of that we have um oh it's just my stuff like erasers um sticky notes and stuff like that so yeah so these are things that we don't quite touch because it's just extra and then glue back there to make slime <laughs> and then underneath i have um so these are just abcs that we took out for my baby to play with um these are just extra binders they're new folders binders um and then underneath we have a big binder that has a bunch of like kindergarten <laughs> worksheets which we don't use anymore or pre-k worksheets that we don't use anymore and then right next to that we have a ton of coloring books and um paper so that they can draw on and then right next to that we have the box with markers extra crayons which they should already have crayons and in, in their box but if for any reason they need more we have these extra ones and then the markers and then right next to this we we have like previous workbooks that my son had been working on at school and then folders that they were using at school um, their normal school and then right here I have little books that I am gonna be using with my daughter so she can start reading um, so like I said she's in kinder so we have to do that but yeah so this is basically all the stuff that we have um, for homeschool and obviously our computer which is in the living room area on that side <laughs> Um, and, and let me show you what we have in our binder. Hold on. So on the binders, this is my son's. Uh, this is where we have extra work that he's going to work on. The multiplication chart. But on both of their binders, I like to keep a um, chores chart. So I give them, you know, certain tasks. And if they accomplish it, they get a heart. And then at the end of the week... Um, they can count their total heart and depending on how many points they have they get a price so um, right behind that we have a book challenge and that's you know as many books as they read throughout the month and they have to color them um, they haven't been coloring them but we have read a couple books already and then this is just work that he has done already and yeah so that's what we keep in his binder um, and then on her binder, we keep, we also keep extra, like, they have extra of these. He has a ton of these back here, um, that I had already printed out. Same with these, we have a ton of them. And, um, we have extra stuff, more challenges. Okay. So this is my daughter's. This is so cool. Um, so most of their worksheets I get from teacher, teacher pays teacher and com, and some of them are free. Some you have to pay, but the majority are amazing. Like this right here, I got for free. So what it is, it's like a sheet of paper with like the squares, and then she gets to pick a picture, and then she has the whole entire. Um, alphabet and then doubles and she can um word it out and spell it out on her own and she loves it and then it came with another worksheet where she's supposed to write all the words um that she um matched 
but yeah so that's what my daughter does and then on her binder we do have a little bit different she has like shapes numbers she also has um the chart chart and then the abcs and then the sounds the the letter sounds the same thing the work i mean the book challenge and then this is just work she's done and then the numbers this is just work she has already done and like i said most of these worksheets i don't know if you can see that all that i got from teacherspayteachers.com i'll link it below but it basically you get to um print out as many you know worksheets you need projects um um activities or anything like that for your kiddos for free um you they also have um payable ones which i have gotten in the past because there's um sometimes they have christmas ones uh, valentine's ones and i love those and i love to have activities for them so i will show a clip of what we do like on the holidays and um and yeah so this is pretty much everything we use for our um, supplies. I wanted to show you how um, we start off our, our school. So basically, I have this poster board here, which wait. So I have this poster here um, that we start off with uh, during school. And what we do is we are um, crossing off the dates. I am teaching my daughter her days of the week. Um, and I'm pretty sure in school they probably already know them. But I have been taking it a little bit slower with her because she really didn't know anything before I started homeschooling her. And she had to learn everything from the bottom, basically. Her sounds, her letters, her numbers. Like We are doing great with that now. So now I can move on to... You know the days of the week my daughter's making a lot of noise <laughs> um so we do have a verse of the day and they have to learn this by now they already know it so i'm gonna be switching that this week um these are the points that i was talking about um when they do chores they get to have depending on the number of points they have they get to pick one of those and then this is where they we we start off by doing this that way my daughter can learn um, weather, dates, months, and year, and all that stuff, because my son already knows it, but he helps me out with this. And then um, they fill this out. So yeah, and then I don't have anything on this side just yet, but this is what we start off our day with. And then I will be showing you what I teach my kids, or how I teach my kindergartner for now. As for reading, we start off with books. Um, we read one-on-one -on -one, um, with my daughter. So basically, that way she can learn how to read a book from front to back. And she just loves this part of the day. As for phonics and math, I basically just go over the letters, the sounds. For math, we've been working on adding and subtracting. Um, I think this is her favorite subject. She loves um, to add. Now, if you want your kids to learn how to read, you definitely have to learn uh, the letter sounds first because if they don't know the sound, it's going to be harder for them to read. We also teach them um, the shapes. Um, she knows them by now. She's already in kinder, but I like to go over them every day. We also have a lot of trouble with her recognizing like the numbers after the 20. So we're still working on that. I'm taking it day by day. Like I said, um, she's a little bit more behind than what my son was at her age. But every kid is different. As for grammar, we are doing that activity that I showed you with a little tree um, earlier in the video. Um, but we also do uh, letter writing, word writing, like three letter words and stuff like that. And I quiz her on random letters to see what letters she knows and what letters she doesn't. Uh, like on this particular day, she was having a hard time recognizing the letter G. So I went on teacherspayteachers.com, which is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> I just love it and I use it so much. Um, and I grabbed a bunch of G letter activities and worksheets. And that's what she did that day. And after that, she was able to recognize the letter um, 
pretty clear <laughs> and um yeah so that's what we do with her so we go to pay teachers pay teachers.com i'm sorry and that's where we get all of our worksheets uh, like i said this is not sponsored i just like it so much and it has a lot of worksheets that you could do Um, we also use workbooks and extra material like for my son we use the good and the beautiful but for my daughter I just grab um, books from either if I below Michaels or Dollar Tree they also have them and we do sight words and that's how they know they learn how to read um, just by recognizing the sight words the sounds the letters uh, we use these little books uh, with like two or three letter word and that's how she's learning how to read so these are the main stuff that she uses in her box so on holidays or certain days we use um, like on this day it was Christmas and we did Christmas around the world and uh, I teach both of them it's something that they can both learn we saw a video and then they wrote what they learned about it and all that kind of stuff and then I also printed out a bingo a Christmas bingo which they love like I said they have so many activities that you could do with them and print out we also do a lot of projects with my son. Um, in this case, he did this oxalato, which you can hear in here. Became um, um they're becoming in, in species that are about to die and coming extinct because they're mostly just destroying their habitat. You see, they're destroying it. It's like a city. It's a lake in Mexico City. That's where they live. It's like where they only live only in Mexico City, and their habitat is being destroyed. They live in, they live in cold waters. So like if you're like in a, like in a in the shower but the water's very cold, axolotls don't want to go in that water. Mostly. And then also they're also amphibians. Amphibians. They're amphibians. Axolotls are amphibians that do not go through more metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is like going through stages. They always stay the same. They don't like go from a tadpole like this or like a tadpole all the way to like an adult. Like a frog. But they just stay like this until they grow into a big boy. I forgot to mention, but for the kids, especially for my son, we also use Adapted Mine, which is a month free. And then after that, they'll charge you depending on what you're going to want to be adding. There's one that you just have math and then there's one where you have um, four subjects. And I only recommend the math one just because for some reason... Uh, the math one is very very nice um we do have the one that has all of them but we hardly ever use those so it's up to you but it's really nice and it's very helpful it's to their grade level and it teaches them things that you might not be going through with them in, in at home so it's pretty nice um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for the next one the next one will be a little bit different it's gonna be a valentine's edition so stay tuned bye guys